It is the king, your majesty. Dead. Lucid. <laughs> the prince is like, uh... Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Hapro, and if you're new here, I do regular reaction content, and today I'm really excited to get into the last half of Bridgerton. We are now on episode 5. Last we left off, we had Daphne kind of stopping the duel between our lovely Duke and her brother, and kind of deciding that she is going to uh, accept and marry the Duke, even though he is resolved to sire no heirs due to the promise he made on his father's deathbed to... Uh, basically end the lineage of his family with him uh, to kind of smite his father and uh, his father's wishes for a uh, continued dynasty. So uh, really looking forward to seeing what happens with that. You know, obviously, uh, if they're going to get married, you know, there will be some kind of, uh, you know, relationship and intercourse and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, especially back then with no um, kind of contraceptive, <laughs> you know, the, the pregnancies will happen. So we'll see, uh, um, if we uh, even get to that point within the last half of the story or what's going to happen there. Uh, we also have Eloise doing her best to kind of find out who Lady Whistledown is. And so I'm interested to see where her story goes with that. And then we have the, uh, Marina kind of trying to, uh, get with and marry young Colin Bridgerton and Penelope kind of being iffed about that because she wants to be with him. I personally ship Penelope and Colin, so I also am rooting for that. Uh, to, <laughs> the, the Marina situation did not go well. Um, so yeah, interested to see what goes down with all those storylines. Um, there's some other minor stuff like the uh, middle Bridgerton son and his uh, art and kind of seeing where that goes. So uh, lots of storylines to kind of um, connect and weave together and kind of find out what happens uh, with the end of the storyline. So really interested to get into this last half. Uh, so from what I've seen, or from what I've heard basically, uh, from uh, some of the people who have already kind of finished it, uh, it starts to get really juicy uh, after this, so I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, if you enjoy more action content, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it really helps me out, helps get the videos out there with uh, the more people who are subscribed and liking the videos. Uh, so I really appreciate everyone who has done that so far. You can also follow me on my socials at Thunder, both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, I don't post much right now, but uh, once, you know, the uh, uh, COVID quarantine type situation is back to more of a, uh, you know, normal and we're all kind of like all vaccinated and stuff, maybe I'll be able to kind of get out there and start posting more. If you're interested in my personal life, you can always do that. So uh, without fur any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Bridgerton episode five. Is she trying to make it appear like she hasn't been out at all? Probably, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> just, just in time. Sent you home early from the party. I have a terrible headache indeed. That's what we call a hangover. <laughs> you do not seem pleased. Whatever is wrong. Oh, no, no. Nothing is wrong. <laughs> How do you feel? So in love. <laughs> I'm unsure how I can be expected to wait an entire month to marry. A month? So they, they get engaged and then marry in a month? That's quick. In three days, my darling girl, you are getting what you always wanted. You are marrying for love. <laughs> <laughs> Her face is just like, yeah! <laughs> it will be the grandest wedding of the year. Tulips are enough to fill the great room and the finest silks. Only the best. For Miss Bridgerton and my nephew. <laughs> uh, she's in for a rude awakening. She report my triumph. The... <laughs> that guy's face. Just think. She'll be the Duchess by Saturday. <laughs> An event that will apparently take place sooner rather than later. She's like, yeah, I'll be the Duchess. Yay. Two reasons to procure a special license and race to the altar. I must say, the, the actresses who play uh, those two, they look so similar. Like, the great casting choices for the mom and daughter there. So, well, Louise, I do believe you will know what love feels like soon enough next season. You think I have to follow in your footsteps, sister? And there'd be a more dreadful fate. <laughs> This engagement is of your own free will, is it not? 
<laughs> because if the Duke is forcing your hand... Forcing me? My goodness. If anything, I'm the one forcing him. <laughs> <laughs> then I can only wish you a lifetime of contentment with your new husband. It was a pleasure to know you, Miss Bridgerton. Man, I feel bad for him. He gets... Uh, I just feel bad for him. Though I must say, I certainly hope the Duke's proposal was at least half as romantic as that. <laughs> yeah, it was certainly romantic with all the touching and kissing and stuff. <laughs> Do not make haste on our account. Ooh, he looks like he, he hasn't slept at all. Simon, look at me. Yeah, see, th there's there's the love. Thank you. We are so happy. Very much so. Oh my gosh, come on, hold her hand. You're gonna make people question everything. Tell me what she means. Leave the young lady alone. Have you not done enough? Yeah, you tell him. Well, the young ladies have plenty of dresses. Perhaps it is possible for them to wear them all again. <laughs> the look on her face is like, are you serious? I shall need to bring you something unexpected. A bushel of tomatoes, perhaps. <laughs> Marina hates tomatoes. That is untrue. <laughs> uh, Penelope, what are you up to? Poor, poor Penelope. I'm rooting for you, girl. To be soaked in the rum or bread. Will it be tongue or ham with eggs for the reception? Uh, I am not sure. I shall ask. Rose, you are the future Duchess's lady's maid. You must know these things. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for her. Uh oh. But you are fond of a midnight garden stroll, I believe. I do you not know what you mean. I'm almost certain I saw the two of you in the gardens at the Trowbridge Ball. I'm enjoying the uh, framing of this because it kind of makes it look like you're spying on them. And you shall be just as you are now, unmarried and untitled. So you can either be a duchess's friend or her enemy. It is entirely up to you. Yeah, you tell her, Daphne. All right, we got some uh, epic Beethoven happening right now. <laughs> uh, the queen looks utterly not amused. You have read of what your dear Vistledown writes. What do you want? It is the king, your majesty. Dead. Lucid. <laughs> the prince is like, oh, uh... what? <laughs> But you need not harbor any doubts of my intention to support your sister. Her well-being is my responsibility now, and I take that duty with the utmost seriousness. That's good to know. You can sniff out even the faintest whiff of insincerity, so do not lay it on thick. Tell her you are in love. Plain and... <laughs> Their faces looking at each other is just like, we're in love, but we don't want to admit it because we're just stubborn. Bridgerton, I'm so glad you came. Oh, I dare not miss it. Please, come in. All right, here we go. We got some more artist stuff. You should go home to your brother, perhaps. <laughs> but I'm receiving far too warm a welcome here. Okay, okay, okay. So he's uh, having some fun with the, uh, um, the, 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 um, what's the name? The sewer, the, the clothing, I can't recall. The... I knew it! I knew he was gay! I knew it! Okay. So, yeah. Well, 
Oh my. Oh my. We got some <laughs> uh, threesome action going on here. Oh my gosh, she is so drunk. He has two older brothers and they're still running from the yoke. You are to cut Colin Bridgerton immediately, or I will lock you in this very room till the day Lord Rutledge makes you his wife. Hmm, looks like uh, Penelope got through to her mom. The wedding night to consummate the union. You will seduce him. Oh no, Penelope. I wonder if she's going to tell Colin. Ooh, are we finally going to get some uh, King stuff? I miss you. I'm right here, Lottie. <laughs> I was just remembering the bluebells in the cottage garden. Do you recall the first... He is so much older than her. She came to my room about a fortnight ago. Did you not see her? She is gone, George. Hmm, is the King getting senile? A little midnight stroll. Every man entertains doubt before the day, I rather think. But it does not signify. He will be a good husband to you. A good father as well. <laughs> uh, maybe not. I shall not pretend to understand the extent of his physical impediment, but... It's not physical. You smell bad. <laughs> and everything I know, well, you eventually catch up. <laughs> they have no mind. That's what I do. <laughs> See, Simon, look at look at this happy family. Look at what you could have with Daphne. Your Majesty, I assure you, nothing untoward has occurred. It is only that we love each other so very much. <sighs> <laughs> She's like, I'm bored already. It took the prince coming along for me to realize I did not want Miss Bridgerton to only be my friend. I wanted her to be my wife. Oh, I love that. Ugh. To be the best possible foundation a marriage can have. Even if that foundation should crumble as quickly as it was built. Mm, she's thinking about her husband. Of course, they're not going to tell us, but obviously it looks like it's going to happen. I'm loving these outfits. I think that's really cool. I would love to... I mean, I don't know me personally, but maybe it'd be really cool to kind of do a... Uh, um, old school style wedding, like have these type of outfits as your like wedding... Uh, outfit and put from on and stuff i think that'd be really an, uh, an interesting thing because you know a lot of people do the themed weddings harry potter and the like but i think this is a really uh unique and uh very uh, traditional idea so i think that'd be really cool to see in today's society i now pronounce you man and wife yay Now that is a cake. Keep your secrets and repay me someday. Enjoy your triumph, your grace. <laughs> Pen, I neither know nor have time for any of these men. Now, where is Colin? You can choose anyone but him. Oh, she's laying down the law. Do it. It's your last hope. Hey, always. <laughs> I should. I should. I. No, come on, make up, make up. Ah, oh, come on. Mm, I don't like.
like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, of course. Mm. They're not going to show anything, are they? Uh, come on, Colin. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it, Colin. I can Yes! Tempting otherwise. Or have I offended you? No. <laughs> A gentleman. Then marry me. Oh, shit. It would be wonderful. I promise you. But let us not say anything now. It is my sister's day. Of course. Well, uh, so we've got till the end of the season for him to find out that she is uh, with child. So we got time. This can all get undone. <laughs> and I must say, I hope you made the right choice. Well, either way, I suppose you will enjoy your wedding night at the very least. <laughs> little, 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 little bit of mm-hmm there. <laughs> Your Majesty, what evidence have you gathered? You would like to know what what evidence I have gathered? <laughs> Tell me what you know. Well, I believe her a widow. She obviously is. Okay. Are we are we gonna have uh, uh, him running into the? Oh, there we go. Very well. Ah, dearest. I believe you know Mr. Bridgerton. My wife, Mrs. Lucy Granville. <laughs> Isn't that the other woman that he was, like, making out with or whatever? Is this your attempt to raise my spirits? He refused for your benefit, sister. I shall put the money in trust so you may use it how you see fit. For your children. <laughs> Seems so strange to finally be able to say that. I suppose I have put this conversation off for as long as I can. <laughs> Is it time for the birds and the bees? Well, he, you see, the marital act, which now that you are married, you may perform. <laughs> it is time. Time to pack up and move into the Duke's place. For you. It is upstairs, made of four walls and a very comfortable bed. Oh, she gets her room. So we will be spending our wedding night at the inn. Why? Well, I should have told you. <laughs> I requested a separate room. Yes. Well, should I? Yes. Yes. Uh, come on. Uh. You know what to do, Daphne. Go seduce him. <laughs> They're both pacing about like, this is the wrong idea. We should be in the same room together. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We should go down to dinner. Oh, come on. It is you I cannot sacrifice. I burn for you. Are we going to get the consummation? <laughs> Let me teach you the ways. <laughs> and having sex back then must have been such a hassle because of all the like uh clothing and like the corsets and the undergarments that everyone had to wear. <laughs> Did you touch yourself? Like we talked about. 
Show me. I cannot. <laughs> Tell me what you thought about when you were alone. I wonder how awkward these scenes must be, because they definitely have to have closed sets for these uh, uh, things, because I, I just imagine how awkward it would be with like a set and crew around having to do all this intimate stuff. And there's some butt. <laughs> it's like, yes, look at my manhood. <laughs> so, did he pull out before? You know, the to to make sure he didn't impregnate her. That's what it seemed like. I feel wonderful. Okay, well, that was uh, episode five. Uh, we got the wedding, we got some resolutions and everything, and then we had the consummation of the marriage there at the end. So, uh, uh, yeah, uh, kind of interesting. I mean, finally, they realize that, yes, they, they love each other and they, they burn for each other, basically. So uh, I'm happy about that, although um, I'm, I'm interested to see if uh you know simon will eventually kind of realize that a family wouldn't be such of a bad thing especially because he is not his father so he could give the children love and affection unlike what he had but you know um men are stubborn so uh yeah i'm interested to see we've got three more episodes left so obviously we've got some stuff that's gonna have to go down uh so yeah i'm definitely looking forward to it uh i i enjoyed this episode overall uh you know we kind of got a lot of resolutions to a lot of things there and uh uh finally <laughs> the two of them being able to talk for real and, and and all that stuff and and seeing uh the queen interact with eloise i loved i loved that little bit of like tell me what you know uh that that was a really cool little interaction there i enjoyed that uh but yeah let me know what you guys thought of the episode in the comments down below and we will see you with the next episode thanks for watching